All right, now talking about skills, we mm. actually have a skilled photographer in the studio with us today. Uh, he's a professional uh, photographer. His name is Kabiru Rabiu Hassan, and uh, he's here in the studio to talk to us on, you know, his journey into photography and how lucrative, we, we love to know how lucrative a certain business <laughs> is, to know if we can actually, you know, <laughs> join the business, how lucrative it is in Nigeria. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. On Good morning. Extra. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. So now, you know, let's get down to the basics. You know, how you look like a young person. I'm actually tempted to ask you how old you are. Are you 14? No. I'm, 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 <laughs> no, he definitely doesn't. Unless it's football age you're talking about. It's football age, yeah, then he could be yes. like 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're 16. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. exactly. I'm actually 22. Oh, fantastic. And I was born and raised in Kano. I did my primary and secondary school education in Kano State. Right after that, I jumped into university at Al Kalamu University, Katsina. I graduated just recently, 2021, with a second class upper degree oh, at wow. BSc Biology. And right after that, I'm now a federal government property, <laughs> serving my NYC okay. here in Abuja. Okay. All right, so why photography and when did you start? Actually, I've been a fan of photography for quite a while because I've been a passionate person. I've been passion, passionate about a lot of things. Like when I see something and it's, I'm enthusiastic, I just want to try it. So I usually started photography with just my phone. I think my first phone which inspired me to join photography was my Infinix Hot 6. That was back in, I think, four years ago. Mm. I had a friend back in university that we would practice together. He would inform me about the basics. That time, I didn't even know what photography is all about, but I just had a passion for it. So he, he usually guides me through it. And after that, I started my research two years ago. I've been practicing, practicing, you know, with the support of family and stuff. I'll carry phones, take pictures, edit them on a the phone. And sometimes you see pictures that I edit on a phone. Some people will be like, did you shoot this on a camera? I'll be like, no, it's just a phone. So just recently, I got my first camera, and I dived into the business. And like, it's been an amazing journey for me so far, honestly. So what kind of pictures do you generally take? Is, is it um, uh, portraits of people? Is it um, abstract pictures? What's, yes, for the reason why. Or, or, or do you take everything? No, 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 no. Okay. Actually, photography has a variety of genres mm -hmm. to choose from. Mm -hmm. So in order to improve from professionals, as I learned mm -hmm. is, or during my research days, is you can choose three genres mm -hmm. and you practice under them. Right now, I'm practicing on portraits, yeah. self-portraits or single-person portraits, which I use myself as a model, honestly, because okay. I don't have anyone to help me around. Mm -hmm. And street photographs, I took some of them around the city of Abuja when I'm strolling around. And then animals and kind of abstract portraitures, honestly. Mm. And yeah, it's been an amazing journey, honestly. And I keep learning every day because photography is an art that you strive for and you learn every day, or like, just like every other skill. And with the little kids I have, honestly, it's been an amazing journey. So my advice to everyone who is who's trying to join it is use what you have Practice, practice, research, learn, research, learn, and with time, the sky will okay. be a person's limit. So, honestly. if I'm not mistaken, you actually you also shoot people, right? Yes. All right. So, how do you make people feel comfortable in front of the camera? Well, honestly, there was this young boy that I took a, this picture, but just I think two weeks ago, when the boy saw me, he was like, he saw the camera on my hand, and he was like. How much, he's, he, he didn't bother about the camera. He just asked me how much was the camera. Mm. I was like, why would you bother about the price? <laughs> but he was like, no, please tell me. I was like, but before I tell you the money, I will have to take a picture of you. But he was like, no. Like his smile attracted me so yeah. much that I was like, nah. <laughs> so I just take it. I, he was trying to kind of show me that he's not interested, but I was like, no, Stan. So he was smiling took a couple pictures of him. And just like that, sometimes you'll have to comfort people. And there are certain people they will be like, no, 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 no. You know, insecure. They don't want it. And okay. it's fine. Respect people's opinion. Don't kind of scare off your clients or people you are shooting because that's the basic rule of street photography, mm. which is an aspect yeah. I choose. Like, make sure you don't make people uncomfortable. Like, you'll have to kind of make a gesture 
to make sure that they are comfortable with you taking a picture of them. And sometimes you can even show them, like, mm, just yeah, take a look at this. So, so so, yeah, yeah. It actually reminds me of uh, a photographer, a street photographer in Lagos. Recently, I actually saw this drama. You know, all these drummers that actually move around mm. to sing for people. And then he saw him and he made him feel comfortable. He yeah, I saw that too. Uh, yes, took a picture of him and he sold the portrait for hundreds of uh, naira, mm. hundreds of thousands of naira, and gave him the proceeds. Oh, really? Yes, you did. Give him the proceeds. Well, that's nice. Very so, um, you're an offer and comer. Yeah? Yes. Have you started making any money? Not yet, honestly. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> you haven't started making any yes. money? Yes. All right. All right. So, um, but we hope that you're going to start. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, that's Hopefully, good. Inshallah. Um, so, um, the, the pictures that you actually take, because we, we actually saw a couple of them uh, being shown, yes, <laughs> as, as we were talking. So, the pictures that you actually take, how. How do you how do you how do you how do we know that they are yours? I mean, like, how how do you copyright them? How do I see a picture now and I know that it's yours? Yes, there's this watermarking that you do, as you can see, it's there. My name there. That's usually my username on all of my platforms. Rabi Kabir Photography. So I just kind of edited my name. I did an O before the U, then double E instead of an I, because you know it's common. So I would mm -hmm. like to be unique mm -hmm. and. Almost all my platforms mm -hmm. are like that. Rabiu Kabir with uh, the, the Rabiu with an O U, mm -hmm. and the Kabir with an E E R. Well, if you check me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. a couple of social media platforms, that, those are my. So that's uniquely mine. Okay. So with that, Rabiu Kabir photography. That's what mm -hmm. I'm aspiring to keep mm -hmm. as my brand. As my friend once told me. Your name is the best brand name you can have. Mm. So that's what I'm trying to stick to for now, inshallah. Okay, so, so do you have uh, mentors in photography that you follow? Actually, my you mentors copy? would be my friends that, are, that were into the business professionally. Okay. There was one, Abakar, he's back in my hometown in Kano. There's Salim, which was my colleague in university, that he guided me through the basics. Then I'm a YouTube student, honestly. I learned most of the skills I have now from YouTube. Like I started watching YouTube videos and just assimilating the knowledge since 2019. Mm. I would watch videos, understand what it meant. I actually took it serious just last year. Okay. So I got serious. I don't know. I've watched at least almost hundreds of videos from now, which I, one of the basic rule I learned is a camp rule. Mm. Like before you take a picture, number one, factor is your composition. Mm. Composition is basically how you take the picture, the location, like where your subject stands. If it's a street of photography, the, the style where, or the angle where you shoot the picture, then ambient light, that's another major factor in photography. If you don't have a good light, you'll never have a good picture. Mm. Without a good light, you'll never have a good. Then number three, modify. Modification is simply just tweaking your settings, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Shutter speed is the speed at which the shutter opens and snaps a picture. Mm -hmm. If it's a slow shutter speed, let's say one over 30th of a second or one second, then you might get a blurry or maybe a long exposed picture. If it's a fast shutter speed for fast moving objects, you'll have a still picture. Mm -hmm. Then aperture, which is the portrait, like depth of field, mm -hmm. uh, which is measured in f-stops, f2 to f22, and it varies from lenses. There's f1.8, f1.2. So the lower the aperture number, the more depth of field and the more light Come the lens comes in. Because the, the lens has an opening just like this. Mm -hmm. So if you have an aperture of f2, mm. the opening would be wide. Mm. But if it's f11, it mm -hmm. will be small, letting small light in. And then there's ISO. ISO is basically fake light. For example, I want to shoot you and there is no, you there is minimum amount. So, light. no, okay. you don't use a flashlight. You oh. use from the camera ISO. Oh, wow. So, it just, uh, it's measured in hundreds 100, 200, 400, 500, 1000. But the issue with ISO is you'll have to keep it as low as 1000. Because mm. when you go above 1000, you'll begin to have noise. And noise is basically that kind of smudges you see on a picture, mm -hmm. and the picture is not that clear. All right, so um, sorry to cut you short, but we're in, we're in the middle of a master class, yeah. you should charge for that <laughs> actually. Class. Yeah, so what, what, um, what, what I want to ask is you, you take a variety of pictures. Yes. Yeah, okay, so do you have to use a variety of cameras to take different kinds of pictures, or is it just the lens that you change? No, actually, 
sometimes it's not about the camera. Okay. Because from the mentorship, that are like the videos, I've, almost all of them said the same thing. Mm. It's not about the gear. Okay. It's about you as the photographer. Are you creative enough? Like, you, you just have to use your mind. Like, sometimes... Oh, but the gear actually should matter. I like, mean, like, if I'm using a camera that has a... It, 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 it's not sharp enough, and yes. somebody's using a sharper camera, even if I have better skills, I think his, 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 no, his no, 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 no. be better than mine. There are pictures, like, there were competitions that mm -hmm. I've seen where a sharp, like, a high-end full-frame camera was competing with a low-end DSLR camera. Or me, you can call it a uh, mini, a small frame camera, APS-C. So when you take the pictures and you compare them honestly, sometimes your eyes will, <laughs> will kind of disappoint you. Yeah. Like you see a picture so sharp, so crisp, you think it was captured with a high-end picture, but it was shot, shot with a low-end camera. Mm. And you might see a picture shot on a high-end camera, and you'll think, like on a low end camera, and you think it's from a high end camera. So, the vice versa. So, it's all about the skills? It, it's about the skills that you acquire, honestly. Okay. It's not about the gear. So, it's not about, you know, how expensive the camera yes, is? Yes, yes, yes. That's honestly all, almost all. But there are pros to having uh, high end gadgets, okay. honestly. Like? For a full frame camera, mm -hmm. you have wider space of capturing your, your subject. And for a DSLR, the one I use, like APS-C small frame, mm. you'll ha you have a limited space. Because now, if, I'm, if I were to capture it with a full frame, I might have a wider space. I might take an angle, a lot of space. But with my APS-C, I'll have to just limit myself to a certain point. So there's a criticism of you modern photographers that you actually take a lot of fake pictures. Fake pictures in the sense that I remember back in the days when we used to use film. You yes. understand when you used to go, you develop in the dark yes. room and whatnot yes, and all yes, these yes, things. Yes. You're like, you understand. So yes. they, yeah, exactly. Because they give you exactly what you see is it's what you get. Of course. What of you course. see is what you get. Of but course. these ones we have, you have digital pictures. Yes. You take the pictures, then you take you put them in the, on your computer with the little gizmos and whatnot, yes. what you put your yes. statues yes. on people and, yes. and all these things. So that is the criticism there are lots of fake pictures out there so you, you might not even the picture that you t that you've taken might not be as sharp or as crispy as what you what was supposed to be yes. and then you put it inside a computer you and put all the gizmos and then something. you clean it up and whatnot what so really it's not really your skills as a photographer but your skills as an editor that actually show <laughs> so what do you have to say about that well you know that that's the benefit of having the apps that's the use of the apps to make you hone your craft honestly okay. because Honestly, I've taken a lot of pictures with my phone mm. to the extent that most of my friends would be like, Guy, did you use a camera on this picture? I was like, no, it's just an edit. Mm. So actually, the best, the best thing about, it's not about the criticism. Yeah, it's there, you'll be criticized, but I don't worry about that because it's the job. Mm. You know, Photoshop is there to help you skin, like touch skin tones, like mm. all, those, all those boys and pimples to go mm. away. Mm. So it was meant for that, and people love that. Like, that's what most but women they're, they're, they're kind of engage in now. So, yeah, like, the they just want to have a smoother face. Well, you have we are here for you. You have purists who want to see the natural grit. Yes, that's things. why, for now, mm. honestly, I don't use soft, like, retouching. It's mm. called retouching. Mm. I don't use it. Mm. All my pictures are totally shot, natural, no retouching, just um, minor tweaks of exposure, highlights. So, and what if the client wants some retouch? If a client's why then he he'll have to like there's a pay for that because mm -hmm. there's a basic rule like if you're a photographer you'll have to have a but like kind of a flyer like you have you have to set your contract okay. like for your you sit with your client mm. talk with them like these are my pictures these are the kinds I took they are natural looks retouched ones so which ones would you like if you want a retouched picture it has to go through a lot of processes because mm. first you'll have to edit the whole picture, like adjust the exposure, the dynamic range, mm -hmm. the vignetting, the curves, color, color correction, and a lot of stops mm -hmm. are done before retouching. Mm -hmm. So if you want retouching, that's extra hours mm -hmm. of working. Because right now, after a photo shoot, I actually spend more than two hours on just 30 pictures or less. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I spend two hours editing 30 or less pictures. And just that's recently... It, yes, because sometimes there's a setting that you use now. Mm. The next picture you will look like, so nah, yeah, this setting will look. So yeah. you just copy and paste it on the on the other picture. If there's any mm. kind of mistouch, then you just adjust them. 
Okay, slightly. now you talked about being a core member now. Yes. Uh, okay, so we want to know if you intend on making, you know, photography a career path or would you want to work a nine-to-five job? Honestly, for now, since I'm just beginning to grow my career, I think I'll follow the rule of Robert Kiyosaki where he said, if you are building your business and actually it's a business that doesn't require much of your time, mm don't drop your daytime job for it because your daytime job saves you from a lot of kind of bills and stuff mm. so at the end of the day you know you have a certain amount of money that you always okay. receive at the end of the month and photography actually one of the best part is if you choose you can choose to work day after the work day you rest at night you go out snap night portraits and come back those also sell out honestly there are a night of there are a lot of night portrait like photographers out there mm -hmm. and they'll go out snap pictures and come back and during the data like weekends one mentor once said use the weekend to build the life you want so you can just you just have to be you just have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable mm. like use the weekend to hone your craft build your career your weekdays just go to work gather your money and at a certain point in time where you are successful that you don't need that job you are free to resign and just pursue your career and do that. That's actually what I'm aspiring to do. So you talked about, we talked about social media earlier. Yes. You have about handles in all yes. different social media platforms and whatnot. So what do you do with all these social media handles? You, you, play, you paste your work there so that people can you advertise your work? Yes, honestly, uh, there was this time, because that time I didn't build, I didn't had a different account for my work. Okay. My brother actually, one of my brothers actually called me Guy, I have a work for you, but the woman insisted that you must have an Instagram page. I was like, bro, I don't have an Instagram page for my work now. So he was like, no, but it's a good opportunity. I was like, can she just accept me? I'll bring the work to her on my PC. Mm. She, he was like, nah, she, she doesn't want that. She just wants to see the work on my desk. So right now I already have a page. I've uploaded a couple of pictures, big videos. My logo is there, but I'll grow the account with time. Mm. As you know, time is a major factor of every career mm. because that's one of our major downside in this generation. Mm. We are being kind of like deceived by the media that you'll have to be rich quick okay. or you have to be successful quick, be mm. famous, be TikTok or Instagram famous early. But that's not the key. If you don't, uh, Gary V once said, if you, instead of trying to impress people fast, mm. why don't you impress yourself? slow so that's what i'm like take my time to hone my craft grow my accounts as i'm doing now because mm. i just recently just yesterday i posted a video of my work on my so on my on my brand account i just a short video of me shooting the pictures and the pictures next in the next picture it had like from yesterday night to this morning it had almost two thousand views on instagram with two thousand mm. views like i was shocked i was expecting less than 500 and the account was just fresh just 55 followers on the account but i was surprised that i had 2000 views on mm. that video so honestly it's a good thing mm. to just be patient work your craft keep posting have your friends patronize you like share your work and kind of sometimes show yourself in the picture so that people will know you are a human being and not a robot you mm. know there are catfish mm. accounts exactly. out there right. so mm. sometimes just kind of shoot yourself mm. be behind the camera put yourself out there yeah just Actually. put yourself out there honestly okay. Okay. so uh what is that one thing you actually wish you knew when you started taking pictures actually the one thing is to not be in a rush because i'm kind of a person that's too enthusiastic like whenever i, start, I just want to okay. be quick and shoot it but Whenever you see something and you want to capture it, you'll have to be slow and you'll have to compose yourself. Even like, if you miss the opportunity. So uh, it's a missed opportunity, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday, when I went out for my photo shooting, now I said I just went to the top hill and I saw a lizard, honestly. <laughs> like he was sitting on a stool. The same lizard. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> I think the picture is there. Yeah. Uh -huh. That one. <laughs> that one. Yes, that one. Like you see him like that, like the lizard was watching. Like as well. it's like he was watching me <laughs> yeah. when I was taking the pictures. And believe me, all the pictures I took, most of them I took them alone. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to set the settings with my camera up, 
the, the, the camera app is on, available on Play Store, Canon camera app. So I connect my camera using my phone, so I'll just control everything. Like, if you see the way I took his picture, mm. like, I'll have to, I had to be so quiet, like a cheetah, trying to hunt its prey. Like, mm -hmm, mm, just standing. <laughs> it was Couch posing like, for the camera. It was actually posing for the camera. Yes, yeah. it's like, you, he knew I was taking his picture, <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I think, it's, I, I think it's I think it's it's a model. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it's a model. Yeah, in the, in the lizard world, I think it's actually a model. I think it's one of I think it's one of the best models out there. Which which is your favorite lens to use? For now, I have a thirty-five millimeter prime lens, and honestly, all the pictures I took on them are just dope. But this one I just think is a, my kit lens, okay. eighteen to fifty-five, and right now, I think I would love to have the seventy to two hundred millimeter. Mm or the 85 millimeter, because mm. usually almost all the professionals are kind of recommending so now, it. So now it's all about the gear. Now we're talking about mm -hmm. gear now. Yeah. There's no gear. No, there's about. a gear for every walk now. Uh -huh. Like, you see this lizard picture. If mm. I had a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, mm. it would have been more sharp, mm. more crisp. But using the edits, as you, as you saw, mm. like the picture was just... All right, so right now I'm this lizard agent. So when you sell this picture, <laughs> now you're going to have to bring something for me so that I can take it to yeah, the Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're his agent then. And you'll have to bring him to meet <laughs> self so we can discuss the So, um, so um, one thing I want to ask is, um, um, we, we know with, with, with buy and sell businesses, okay, I know how much I buy this newspaper. Yes. I buy it for 50 bucks and I go yes. and I sell it for 70, you know? I know how much I sue this, all right? It yes. cost me 20 naira to do this, so I sell it for 25. But with a picture now, you take a picture of this lizard and Mr. Lizard comes and says, okay, I want to buy this picture. How do you cost how do you put a price on your picture? Number one, I would take like the effort it took me to shoot the picture. Like, okay. No, that's number one. Number two, like the time and the patience it took me to kind of just find the right angle to shoot him. I'll add that to the question. And number two, the time it took me to edit the picture. So usually combining these elements, mm -hmm. since you are talking about the laser shot, but if, if it was a human, <laughs> it, it will have to deal with the location mm -hmm. we decided to take the picture, mm -hmm. uh, how long it will take for the session. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there are photo shoots personal, there are weddings, mm -hmm. there are kind of personal shoots where a person will just call you, I want to invite you, we go mm -hmm. there. So mm -hmm. usually it's all about the time, the edits, mm -hmm. the work, time it took you for the edits and... No, for example, the last one is just for a label. So, for, exa for example, now an, an abstract picture, all right? I see a picture and I like it and I was like, who took this picture? And he was like, this guy knew. And I, well, okay, I want to buy this particular picture. For example, now you took a picture of Daily Trust yes. building. Yeah, yes. Daily Trust comes and we want, want to buy this picture from you. How do you cost a picture like that? Well, honestly, I would have to look at... The client? Yes. No, it's not about the client. It's about... Mm. Since it's daily trust, mm. it's a it's an it's it's a it's a, it's a nationwide kind of a, it's a it's a it's a popular kind of brand. Mm. Like people know whenever you hear daily trust, oh yeah, I know daily trust now. They just they know everything about this country. Mm. So I'll be like, okay, let me use this opportunity. It will be a deal. To blow. Mm. <laughs> to blow. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, I will I will have to charge I will have to charge daily trust a small amount of money, mm. and the remaining portion that I didn't charge, mm. I would ask that they please patronize my work. But well, you yeah. know, it's actually a win-win thing. Yes, because, so, that, yeah. so it's a win-win. So you buy from me at a, at a price that you kind of you will enjoy and mm. you kind of patronize my work too. It, at so that time... like an official photographer. Yes. So at that time, you see, Daily Trust as a, as, as a brand has, has shown the nation that has we encourage okay. photographers. Mm -hmm now that we buy from photographers really and we nice. don't care how long they, they are in the business mm. it's all about their skills and the good uh, and the perfection of their craft like if the god is the, if the if the product mm. or service they offer is mm. good we are willing to take it no matter the age the or maybe the, the range of who you are okay. there's no judgment there so yeah right. and you serve as a photographer you will have many Kind you have of the uh, exposure. Exposure, okay. yes, and experience of being uh, we are, uh, around daily trust and stuff. All right, so um, now, uh, right, there are lots of platforms out there where you can actually, you know, post pictures yes. uh, you take and sell them. Yes. Are you in any of such platforms? Now, no. 
like the guy with the NFT. It's an NFT that he sold. That it, that's the term of the picture, the okay. drum guy sold. It's called an NFT, yeah. non-fungible token. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of a digital asset mm. where it's been sold. There are digital assets that cost over a million dollars. Definitely. Many have been sold. So in those platforms, you actually just create your craft, post mm. it, wait for time. Maybe somebody might see it, he likes it, he buys it. So, you know, uh, right now I have a friend that's into the business, so I'm willing to go to him and learn, honestly. Okay, so now, I know uh, the camera is important when you're going out for work and also the lens. Yes. Besides these two, what other, you know, items should a photographer actually tag along with? Very important item. Very you important. You need, a lens, you need a tripod. Okay. Tripod for still photos. Like, if you don't want to, you know, kind of have a shaky footage, mm. you need a tripod. Place your phone. The tripod is one. Number two, right now with the, with the ones I use, you need a reflector or diffuser or five-in-one reflector, which has almost five sides. Okay. That one helps in reflecting light. Maybe when there's no source of light and you don't have anyone to help you, so you can just use it to bounce the light on your subject. Number two, strobes and, steep and, and speed lights. Number three, lens hoods to protect your lens. And number three, camera cleaning gear. So, so far, those I think to me now are the side kind of gadgets you need. Okay, just a follow up. Now, aside all these gadgets, in, uh, you know, when you talk about all the gadgets that you have, which one do you wish you hadn't bought? Which is the least important that you wish you hadn't bought? Yeah, I hadn't bought now. Honestly, now I don't have any because okay. I, I think it's just the speed light that I have now. It's not compatible mm. with my camera. Mm. Oh. And since I'm not the one that actually bought it, mm. it was bought from abroad. So okay. I don't have to blame the one who bought it. That's why it I didn't was a even, gift. Yeah, it was a gift. Mm. So I didn't actually told him that it's not compatible with my oh, camera. Okay. So I'm trying to maybe if I go home, I'll go to the market, discuss with business like shops that yeah. have it. And then and swap. Okay. Swap, yes. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to, honestly. Right, so right now, um, your business, you're just starting. Yes. You're, yes. you're learning the craft, yes. you're learning the business at the same time, all right? So, so what's, what's the plan now? Um, is it for you to, 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 to start taking, to, go, to dive straight into it, you understand? Start being, commis being commissioned for, for portraits, weddings, events, and whatnot, what? Or are you going to, to be more artistic on the whole situation and, yes. and, and go to galleries and start talking about <laughs> art shows and whatnot, yes. what? And, 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 you know, what's the plan? Honestly, right now my plan is to, after, since I give myself now, mm -hmm. so I'll just have to maybe share with you, Right now, I give myself six months okay. to kind of learn almost the basic things I need to approach that angle of professionalism, like to dive into the business and get money. Mm. I give myself six months to learn. So on what I'm intending to do now with the uh, amount of resources I have, mm. I'm diving into maybe s weddings or events, okay. uh, self portraits maybe portraits of people if anybody wants me to shoot a portrait of him like you know you as yeah and you want me to kind of shoot you some pictures that you might want to you and mr lizard want to share <laughs> <laughs> so yeah some things like that yeah so that's honestly that's what i'm aspiring that's why i'm using street photography to okay. kind of understand how to kind of go around the camera mm. sharp sharp so mm. i can though it's not about a rush it's about maybe taking your time having the right compo composition, mm. taking the right picture. Mm. Don't rush to avoid having blurry images or unsharp images. So that's all about now, honestly. I just mm. want to go events, weddings, uh, self-portraits, maybe street. Okay. And something, I think I might dive into sports oh, in, the, really? in, the, in the near future. Okay. Um, so what about exhibitions? Do you, do you plan on make, doing an exhibition of your work? Anytime yes, with time, soon? Anytime honestly, soon? With, with time, if I, dis if I started printing my workout, mm. I will make frames and as time goes on, when I have my studio okay. or gallery of my own, inshallah, mm. I, will ho I will host an exhibition. Is like, it part of the plan for you yes, to get yes, together? Yes, yes. Mm. I plan on doing something like that in the future and sell my work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you photographed any celebrity? Celebrity? For now? I think the only celebrity I took a piece picture of, which I don't have now, like I didn't add it to the files, uh, is the personal photographer to the deputy speaker of the nation. Okay. 
he's the only celebrity to me now like he was with me i took his picture and he was like your work is nice i was shocked when he told me he was the personal photographer to the deputy speaker of the federal republic of nigeria i was like you are commending my work mm. then i must be doing yeah, something good doing something mm. right. definitely you must and be doing uh, honestly right. when i when i came here to or that I was a few days ago before i got this invitation which i'm truly honored and and it's my pleasure to be here and uh, when i showed the staffs like the work, my work mm. and everybody was like wow like the 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 impressions i got actually got me shocked i was like this is just an, to me yeah. like this is just a normal edit mm. uh, ibrahim is actually a celebrity so when you're done you can take a picture yes i am add that to the i list. am you don't have to say it with, you don't <laughs> have to say it with a smirk on your face i am okay yes i guess then, I yes. then a free, a, a free yeah. photo he, for he you knows, he knows he knows that i am so you don't have to say it with a smirk on your all right, face so, no i think i already know the answer to this question i'm about to ask yeah yes. but which amongst all the pictures that you've taken yes. which is your favorite picture that's a, that, that's a big one. Honestly, I think there was a picture. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's not a lizard. <laughs> I think for now, it's my best. Because I had to, like, the, the time it took and the effort, like, this picture, I love it, honestly. Mm. My sister had to complain about, like, why are you not back home? You are supposed to take us, not a lizard. I was like, you, will, you, will, you, will you patronize my business now? Or what? You just want a free picture, mm -hmm. uh, but this lizard can buy me something. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, but you're about to talk about one other picture. Uh, honestly, now, mm. there was this picture of a plant that I took. It was so focused. I mm. think it's there, like a plant, like just as, just its bud okay. like the focus actually uh, like i was impressed like and i loved the picture uh, okay. yeah i think this so is the yes one? no there there was another one and the, the second one would be my picture okay the oh. one i took in an ash clothing i think okay. or i think there was one i took in an ash clothing like okay. that so i um, love it honestly uh, so any advice for you know uh startups or up and coming photographers like you what i will tell them first is don't rush yourself be patient go easy on yourself because if you are too hard on yourself you might not understand what you need to understand honestly because mm. My basic, like, uh, let me just share sharp, sharp, like, let me just be quick with you. I got these gadgets in exchange for a phone. Mm -hmm. The person that got me the gadgets asked me, I'm buying you a new phone. What would you, which one, which brand would you like? Would you like a, an iPhone 13 Pro Max? I was like, iPhone 13 Pro Max in Nigeria, it's around a million naira. Instead of it, this is something I'm trying to do. I was like, no, don't get that for me. This is what I need. I would love to have an iPhone 13 Pro Max now, mm. but I decided, no, that's not what I need. So uh, the youth need to understand, you'll have to give up the things you desire for the things you need that will build you in the future. Mm. All these iPhone trends and other stuff will be history in less than two years. Okay. There will be nothing. But when you have the right things, don't rush, work hard, practice, 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 like learn from people, mm. like ask questions mm. when you are curious. Don't be shy. Mm to go out there and learn. Because I'm, I'm kind of an introverted person, actually. Sometimes I'd, I'd like to stay within my, just I had to isolate myself. Mm. But once I started this journey, I was like, lie, bro, okay. drop that aside. So I just, all right. yeah, that's all I can say, honestly. So uh, thank you so much, Kabir Rabiu Hassan, for uh, thank you know, very much. a it's wonderful <laughs> time, you know, on photography or a session of photography, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, on Daybreak Extra today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, too.